No more procrastinating. I got the book in last night and uh, read over some things and I have a better idea of how to get this out of here plus some advice on a form that I uh, check out. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart. First thing I did already here was uh, I pulled the bolts out of this top cover here just to kind of take a peek under there. Uh, that was before I got the manual so now I know that comes off later but I uh, took off the throttle linkage here and now I got to take this stop uh, cover plate off to get to the internals behind here. There's some springs that I was saying in the last video that go from here to here and you get to them from in here so I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off. So once this thing is out, uh, right in here are those springs. They're right on that arm. Boy, you can barely see them. But I gotta take those off next. And then, uh, oh, I'm supposed to line up. Uh, let's see what this book say here. Says line up control rack pin to the slot on the crankcase. Remove the injection pump. So, how do I find that? All right, let me see. Am I supposed to just hang on? Let me get back to you. All right, now that the stop plate is off, we're going to go ahead and remove the injection pump. tough to see at first but that's a control rack pin on the bottom of the injector pump or sorry on the front side of it and you you line that up with the uh, the slot in the uh, crank right here and then the whole thing comes out now they talk about um, shims but I don't see any I don't see any shims I know that this this metal gasket here but I don't I don't know if that's a shim there's definitely uh, yeah, I guess there's a metal plate here. I wonder if that's the shim they're talking about. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it all together and send it out to the, uh, to the repair guy. See what he says. All right, next it says remove the governor springs that were in that slot right in there. And once you do that, uh, they say try not to drop it in the crankcase, but, you know, all right, so there's the two springs. They're still on here. All right, put this aside. All right, we're getting closer. I don't know, let's see. Okay. I see how this works now, it's kinda cool. It's got a camshaft. Down inside here and the cam pushes on that plunger which is for the fuel pump and then these other cams these other lobes on the cam push up and down on the bottom of these uh, on the bottom of the, uh, the pump pushing those injectors so allowing fuel to get in there so I'm assuming when they take in this pump they're just gonna make sure the tolerances are all correct on that and I'm sure I gotta pull this out so they can go over that cam and make sure that's all good but in order to get that all out this whole front cover has got to come off and to get that front cover off I gotta get this pulley off I just had this on here for a second to turn it over because it made it easier uh, so I gotta pull this nut off I think that's what I'll do next 
but before I do that I had to take off the uh, start spring that guy there and that goes on the end of let's see there's a little hole on the end of that rod right there and then the other half is on this little pin so just pull that off with a uh, needle nose and then uh, I gotta try to figure out how we're gonna take this nut off so I'll be back well that was interesting but it worked like a charm I heated up the uh, nut with uh, just map gas and once it got real hot I just sprayed some uh, a PB blaster and it just got sucked in along these threads and then I tried it with a chisel at first but I didn't break in the corner off of the chisel so I grabbed my air hammer and just a couple little uh, quick bursts with an air hammer and this nut just uh, came flying loose so um, yeah I'll clean this nut up and reuse it again or if I can find a new one I will but I don't know I don't think a corner off is going to be too big of an issue so anyway let's get that off and then I gotta find a puller to pull this pulley off well I had to run up to the parts store real quick to get this puller but uh, seems to be working just fine um, I need two hands because the crank was oh, it doesn't, but pulley's coming right off I thought it was gonna be a tapered fit and you know come flying off like they sometimes do but this one just comes off nice and easy so I'll take this off and we'll proceed with the uh, front cover now that it wants me it wanted me to remove the fan uh, the fan drive pulley and the key which are right there now we're gonna go ahead and remove the gear case assembly uh, I think it's pretty straightforward and remove the o-rings all right so we'll go ahead and do that now all right now that all the bolts are out um, there's a couple different sizes so I just stuck them all back in their holes um, when I paint this later and clean it up for gasket I'll pull the bolts out in order and so I know which way I put them in but once that's all off uh, this thing will come right off you might need to might need to put a you know a little scraper or something in behind the gaskets here because it gets stuck on there but this is off so this is going to go and get uh, cleaned up so we can uh, do painting okay next thing we're gonna have to do uh, I haven't looked at the book yet but I'm sure we gotta line up some some marks here wherever they are and then uh, start working on pulling this stuff apart so I'm gonna figure that out and I'll get back to you alright it says for installation I gotta line up these hash marks okay so on the crank there's uh, the three hash marks and they line up with the three on the um, fuel pump the two hash marks on the crank line up with the two on the cam and then the uh, and then the one idle is up with the gear with the crank gear okay well I haven't touched anything I haven't moved anything yet and this is what I got going on and I'm wondering what's going on here okay I know the light's shaky because it's a it's a halogen lighter or it's a LED light and the camera doesn't like it but anyways you can see there's three hash marks there across the way there's the two hash marks and down here there's the one hash mark but if you look where the three hash marks are to line up with my um, the gear for my pump they're over where are they where'd they go hang on <laughs> I lost them hang on oh right up here they're up on top right there they're not lined up same with over here on the cam the cam hash marks two, the two little guys uh, I can't find over oh, right here they're right they're right there there's the two uh, I, I haven't pulled off the oil sling or anything on that gear so you can't see where the one is but I'm assuming the one's not lined up so what's the deal here um, when I put this back together am I supposed to line those up or am I supposed to line them up where they are now uh, I'm a little confused so if anybody can help me out on that one that'd be great 
Oh boy, okay, well that made me nervous, but I figured it out. You just gotta turn the motor over a few more times till the corresponding hash marks all line up. And they do. There's the three there. There is the two there. And the one here on the bottom uh, is gonna line up with the one below it. I will, once I take this, this oil slinger off, I'll be able to see, but okay. That figured it out, so. Scratch that last part. We're ready to go. We're going to start taking off. Uh, I think I got to take off uh, this stuff down here. So we'll get to that in a second. All right, once I got those out, the uh, the the lines on the uh, on the can or on the uh, what is this? This is the crank and then the drive pulley. They line up and then uh, line up on the camshaft. And I had to take out the retaining bolts the back of the camshaft and now the cam will come out but I need two hands for this because I don't want to mark I don't want to mark anything up so I'll be right back alright I pulled the camshaft out and taking a look at it, it looks really really good there's not there's no wear or anything on any of the lobes uh, everything looks really nice and clean on here um, so moving forward next is to remove the fuel feed pump and it's just got two 10 millimeter bolts on the side and I forgot to take the line off but anyways that's that put that down here for a second and then uh, I think we gotta take this off next well, let's see alright we're supposed to go ahead and take off this circlip and pull this out and then we can get to these bolts back here I believe so get after that all right once you pull this circlip off and there's a, there's a washer behind it this gear set will come off and behind here is that three fork that three fork holder that goes in behind here once you get that off and the keeper uh, I'll show you over here that's the keeper that goes behind uh, this camshaft here bolts right to here and holds this up tight against the block okay once you get that off then you pull off this gear that I just pulled off and you can get to these bolts that are behind here and that and then this whole thing comes off you can't pull the camshaft out because it gets stuck in in this jaw here so you have to pull everything off get it out of the ways and pull these bolts out and that'll come out with this camshaft and now the cam comes out here and this is the for the fuel not the regular not the camshaft over here this is the camshaft for the fuel pump on to the next step we're going to remove the uh, crank gear and then the oil pump uh, so that's how they look on here we'll go ahead and do that all right once I got the puller on the crank gear uh, it just comes off nice and easy So let me get this all the way off and then we'll go ahead and get that oil pump. Alright, well I got some running around to do now so that's going to be it for now. Um, but we did good. Got the, uh, got the fuel pump out so that can be sent out. Uh, I never did send the head out yet so the head can go out. Um, I'm going to need to put a couple blocks of wood or something on here or pull these studs out so I can flip it over on the bench to pull off the oil pan. Then we gotta connect the uh, or disconnect the connecting rods, and then pull off this cover back here, and then the whole um, crankshaft will come out. Once I got the crankshaft off, probably pull this cover off here too. Once I get the crankshaft off, this block is stripped, and I can send it out, and they can go through and do what they have to do with it. But uh, that'll be another another episode. I'm gonna go ahead and get the shop cleaned up pretty good here and get everything put away and label everything where it needs to go and then uh, we'll figure out how to flip this thing over and get to work on the undercarriage so until next time thanks for watching